All right guys, this is the first feature that ever won us truly a national award for a single feature. Pond Trade Magazine did a contest nationwide and raised money for the Wounded Warriors Fund. And it was about water features. We won best waterfall for a shot that was taken in the middle of this 150 foot long pondless waterfall just outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. I wanna walk you down here and I wanna tell you about this feature. Later I'm gonna introduce you to the proud owners of this new baby. Let's go down here and check it out and I'll tell you the story. We got the privilege to come out here and spend a month, one year, and then a couple weeks the year after that doing this two-phase pondless waterfall project and I'm gonna show you how we did it and how we broke this project into two pieces. So let's go get to it. So guys, I don't know if I mentioned, but this project actually was a renovation. There was an existing feature here that was non-functioning when we started the planning process. It took us several months to work out all the details of exactly how we could put this in to make the homeowners happy. And that's how it got broken into a two-phase project. Phase one started down here at the bottom with a 3,000 gallon reservoir. It's a chilly January morning and we're getting ready to do a tear out and a rebuild of an existing feature. We knocked it out and we went 100 feet up towards the top where we cut the project in half. So let's just cruise on up there and take a look at the different waterfalls and things that we did along the way. How about this piece of driftwood right here? You find stuff like that in the rivers here in East Tennessee all the time. Phase one was there's a bridge across the top when we get up there. We went from there down. We've got a 3,000 gallon rainwater harvesting reservoir down in the bottom of there that captures some water from the roof up in the house. That is the mothership of holding water for this feature. We've got two big pumps that are split up at the top. And then we did a phase two once we got up there the following year. So it allowed us to really hit outside of the realm of what they wanted to spend right now and we designed it so that they could get the ultimate waterfall of their dreams. And this is it. It's almost 150 feet long of a pondless waterfall and they truly can just turn off this bottom and run the part up by the porch if that's what they wanna do. What I wanna point out right here in this waterfall that I think is super cool is the way, the way we all got in here together and our team was working in all different places so everybody kinda of picked a spot that was special to them. If you look right in here, this waterfall is pinched between two boulders, awesome piece of cedar log. So it's like it's pinched right in there. Something you would see right out in nature somewhere. Then here, instead of having every waterfall be a nice, just a, a sheeting waterfall, looks very contrived in nature, you only see a little bit of that. What you see is you see a lot of this. The different effects, water curling around the side. It's not always necessarily falling. Sometimes it's just crashing. But you've got in this little section right here, one sheeting fall that comes down, and then you've got multiple falls that just curve around the rocks. Then the water widens and it gets slower. It's split around the outside of this, pinched into the inside of that. That's what happens in nature. The water goes everywhere. And I wanna tell you right now, there's still a little guy underneath this bridge. I'm looking at it. Let's take a walk up here and check out the upper part. And I'll show you where we kind of did the breakdown in the middle of this feature. When we first came in here, the most substantial stones that were in this feature were a couple of these beautiful big bridge stones. So here's another one of those bridges. This is the smaller of the bridges that we had. The big one's the one at the bottom. But when we got through, the natural stone walkways just wind back and forth through this garden area. Joyce is a master gardener and she is out here all the time. Check this rock out. Look at this massiveness. Simple little falls coming in here. Beautiful, there's a light hiding right here, I can see it. I can't wait to get in here at night. The details on this thing are what really makes it. The gorgeous stones, the bridges, the walkways where you can integrate back and forth through this garden. And of course, carnivorous plants hiding here and there because that's what we do, just saying. So, uh, I don't know, everybody doesn't have a totem pole in their waterfall, I'm just saying. I did not provide this, it was actually given to us by the homeowner, but Tucker says it has some significance. And here is the area where in the original water feature, we had all of this area up here 
was a big wall made out of small stones. You can see we've got a nice pond and a series of waterfalls and cascades up top already with the walk bridge going in front of it. So this was the cutoff point and we actually built the ending of the water feature right here the first time. So in year one, this was done down here, the pond was left and there was this wooden bridge in between. Then what we did was we built a separate pondless system from here up to there. One pump can run this water feature from where I am up to the top with the other part turned off. There's a separate holding area in right here. And I gotta tell you, one of my favorite parts of this water feature is this part right here. Because this step over is so tight and these stones just do a beautiful job of letting that stream run underneath there. And it just looks so natural and it sounds really cool in here. The sound almost echoes like a cave underneath these stones. Super nice. So one thing that I think is important to talk about right now is that when you get done with the hardscape this big in the beginning, it looks like a rock pile. The homeowner called it a moonscape. So when I had this moonscape when John left, I thought, oh, what are we going to do? Well, we fixed it. We just put a little green stuff here and there and voila. Because it was just so much rock and there was literally nothing but stone everywhere. And that's just part of the progression. In three years, all of this plant material has grown in, except for the big trees. All of the other flowers have literally been here for three years or less. So when you think about a new feature and you think about, boom, it just looks like a giant pile of rocks, don't lose hope because in a few years, it's gonna be gorgeous, it's gonna be natural, it's gonna be beautiful. So really I just come back and visit these job sites with my clients because you see what's going on right here. This isn't really about a waterfall visit, it's really about me on the fire. Sam. <laughs> we got Tucker tickled. We have That's what I appreciated do. these people. They are the loves of our life. It's been a pleasure to be part of the modern design uh, group. They you can say family. Family. Yeah. Yes. But uh, it has been fun to watch the projects unfold. And uh, my wife, Joyce, is, uh, she may or may not come out because she's uh, shy. You'll see her maybe in a moment. Uh, but she is. Talking uh, about Joyce? Same person. Oh, okay. Tucker can see three waterfalls from here. We hear the sound everywhere. We've got a lot of native plants here. We want to attract wildlife. It's awesome. We have just really enjoyed, enjoyed it every day. I come out every morning early to feed my livestock and um, look around. Just, uh, it's a privilege to have it, of course. No, I love it. I love it. These people are absolutely amazing. I'm not going to whine a bit. This just so happens to be the first pondless waterfall that our team ever won an award for. What a story. We're working out in the country. Look at this. We've got llamas. A little while ago, there was turkeys. These guys have longhorn steer over here. They rescue pit bulls. They have pot-bellied pigs. It is literally a farm in the middle of Knoxville, Tennessee. So how cool was that? Another amazing project built by our team out here at Modern Design Aquascaping. If you guys loved the video, do me a favor. Give us a thumbs up down at the bottom. Tell us you liked it. Hit the subscribe button and you'll get to hear more about awesome projects that we do around the country. I hope you have an amazing day. See y'all.